everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here back in our video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with another tutorial on the please donate game. Um, so a lot of you guys have been wondering about a lot of stuff and in this video we're going to be talking about the top donated and top raise board um, and I'm going to update you a lot of, with a lot of other stuff and um, in the next video you'll probably be getting the game pass for the boom box and then the, uh, the sign tool. But um, yeah, so it's <laughs> there's a lot of things to address really, but um, I'm, I'm just going to say this. If you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. Um, but um, yeah, I know you guys are probably wondering how to make the game and what we're doing and stuff. It, it's, it's not too hard. It's just a lot of stuff I need to talk about because um, there's some problems. Now, one thing's first, if you are not on Discord, I recommend joining it because we actually do, um, are going to be putting the kits in there, uh, some of the kits. I do have, uh, last time I did put the kit in the description in the comment section, but I recommend just joining the Discord because we update people and talk about it in there with you. But, um, yeah, so I know some of the problems have been that the buttons are appearing up here. Now, that is not due to our scripting knowledge, that is just due to, um, Pro proxy and um, online websites basically the websites that are basically getting all the assets from Roblox and putting it on to uh, we're putting it onto the our game and displaying it now um, users been doing a lot of stuff um, Dev Daniel sorry he's been the one who's helped me make this game so please go and check out his profile um, he's amazing and he um, figured out some stuff and how to fix some things um so in this version right here this is not the uh this is the non-game pass version as i could say um if you do want the game pass version it will be in the description and it will be on the discord though the game pass version is a little messed up because um it, it does just display it up here but the problem is it causes some bugs and problems and i didn't want to release that just because i guess users are saying that the game passes is having another problem with row proxy and it's just it's just so much overloading so um what i want to explain really is when we go to service or service um, and we look right here i'll tell you what i mean so the clothing url is this this uri here row proxy is this online website and it it basically is what gets um, all the assets from Roblox. And um, right now, as you can see, we're doing uh, category creator target. And Roproxy is being overloaded. It's an online free website. Now, if you guys do want to make your own and not have this problem where it's not loading or anything, then you will need to create your own website. And I think Dev Daniel actually told me you can do that by um, using uh, an, a Heroku is another website by de deploying your own proxy but guys this is just a free one so i wouldn't you know recommend making your own proxy unless you want to go really more into these games but um yeah so it's just kind of like it's a little hard to explain but we did add a uh, group clothing in here um i mean daniel added group clothing um and there's a kind of a lot of stuff with this um so we did fix one thing we did add profile service so profile service is another way of saying data store um, and it's 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 a better better data store slash data store two version. Um, I've actually never really used it. Uh, I'm not too too much in certain of what profile service is and what you can do with it. But it's basically another data store, and it will be saving your progress. So if you haven't been saving it, then that will save it for you. Um, this is the same prompt purchase thing right here. There was a Game Pass one. If you do check that out, which I'll, I can show you in a bit here. Uh, but this is the module for profile service, which you can check out on Dev Form right here. But um, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, so moving on, guys. Sorry, that's uh, the, the main part of the video. Um, we have the donate it and raise leaderboard. It's super simple, actually. Um, we can talk about it in a second here. So if you want to just mess around and put these somewhere and build them anywhere, then feel free to just scale them. You know, mess with the part, the service UI, the frame, all that kind of jazz. You can do whatever you want. So there is template right here and profile picture and stuff like that. Um, so inside these scripts. Um, we have a few things. These are all the same. They're basically the same script, but we changed the stat name to raised and donated. So if you have another don uh, stats name, just change it right here. So we're basically grabbing the data store and all the players, and we're going to check that data store for who's the highest, who has the highest one. Then we have the gold, silver, and bronze, so first, second, third. Um, abbreviations, um, K, million, billion, trillion. So um, this is abbreviating if it gets to a million or billion. And then we have the gold, silver, and bronze, the templates. Um, so raw true do, this is what we're doing a uh, true do script, as in saying it's going to keep repeating while true. Um, we are basically going to be updating all the items and putting it onto the frame right here. 
um, it's it's this is like a hard kind of script to really explain. Um, but it, it's more with data store. So we're really going inside the data store service, checking for a player, what they're ranked and all that kind of jazz and playing them right here. Now it's not gonna, so it's gonna probably say NA at the beginning. Um, it should say that right away when you haven't had anyone loaded and no, there's no assets. So that's a good part. Um, I don't think I needed to touch that. Um, what did I do here? I didn't think I did anything. Um, so that that's that's about it. So it's it's kind of simple. I mean, I didn't really teach you guys too much rather than just talking about it. Um, I just wanted to inform you that we are fixing some things. Um, the proxy is not our fault. It's just because of the website, you know, and that's a free version. So we gave it to you guys. But another thing that is happening is if you are able to just actually load in and you just, um, you'll see it'll take a minute. It'll take a minute to load in. That's because it's going onto the website from outer Roblox, putting it in and displaying it basically. Um, but yeah, so we have the stance and stuff. Now, if you do want the game pass version, like I said, go in the discord, look in community dev and you will find it right there. Um, I'll make sure to publish it tonight and I'll put it in the description right now. It's actually pretty simple. It's the same exact stuff. It's the same uh, same thing. Only thing is, um, it has game passes, and it's just going to display it up here. You won't need to insert anything. It'll just be up in here. So um, we may make another tutorial on that again sooner or later, just right now because of the proxy. It's just been messing around and broken. Um, so I'll, I'll try and think of what I can do with that, guys. I'm sorry. There's just so much to figure out. But um, in the meantime, feel free to leave some comments below what you guys want me to make next or what anyone. I'll just think about what we can do. Uh, Roblox just released a new audio asset library. So um, if you guys want to check that out, it's on the dev form. It's pretty important and pretty cool about copyrighted audios and everything. So I'd recommend checking that out. But um, yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.